Welcome, welcome. One of my favorite outfits, looks, especially in the spring, is just jeans with a beautiful blouse. Silk, rayon, just a beautiful blouse with jeans. I feel like it takes us everywhere. <clears throat> it doesn't seem to matter where we go. We can get in with that beautiful blouse because it looks attention to details with jeans. So I want to show you what I think is a beautiful blouse <laughs> and then you can decide if you agree. So the first thing that we want to know is that the pussy bow, the tie bow, um, at the neckline is very strong for spring. I'm going to show you a couple photos. This first one I'm going to show you because I'm stealing the sleeve. I love the sleeve on this. I love the accents. It's just great. These are all very expensive. Some I don't even put the price on because they're just real expensive. And I think a lot of it is simply the details. So here we could put a piping in the edges and really show what a beautiful um, bow this would be. This next one I wanted to show you because what we can see is that the width of the bow can be very different. It can You don't have to make it what the pattern is. You could make it much thinner and that way you can enjoy what's comfortable for you. But you can see there's just, if you search for it, there's so many different looks with this bow at the neckline. So I'm going to show you what I did with border prints because I think to mix them together is just a home run. And I see so many that are just plain, which are great, but the ones that cost a whole bunch of money are those border prints. And so let's let's get into it. So the one I have on is pattern 523 and 523 is frames four-way halter and what we know about that is there are different ways to wear it. We don't have to always do it the same way. I've got the bow coming around in the front but it can stay in the back and just be tied in the back. So or you don't you don't have to put the tie on at all. You can just leave it off. But some of the decisions I made with this fabric is this is a uh, viscose. It's a woven rayon viscose. And I just love the fabric. I love the fabric. So that's the first thing, but it has a border across the top. And so what I decided I wanted to be the border is I wanted to have, um, you know, it's a busy, it's busy. So whenever you have busy, you want to simplify the pattern. And so with this only having four or five pieces, I thought, okay, that's simple. There, there's no darts. The darts are built into the gathers at the neckline. I'm going through all these decision-making processes. And so one thing I decided is I wanted to have the solid up at top. And then I thought about, I wanted to have the solid on a bow. Now, because the solid is only at the top and it's not real wide, I actually had to get another yard to do the bow this way. I would have had to get another yard if I wanted to have the back of the bow on a blouse. Let me explain that to you. The back of this fabric is not one I wanted it showing. So I went ahead and put cut two. Well, normally you cut two. I cut four ties. I put the ties together and did a rolled hem on my serger all the way around. Many different ways to do that. Because I thought as it was hanging, if it flipped around to the back, or if I decided to make a bow out of it, for the back side to show would be kind of cool. You know, I thought it would give it really, either way you did it, I thought it would just give it a great look. And it saved me fabric. So I did the navy and the collar, and the top on the border, and like I said, I had to get an extra yard, whatever the pattern calls for for your sizing. You want to get one extra yard to play with it like that. But then this way, it gave me a focal point because of the difference in the contrast. And it wasn't all too much busy print going around. So the bottom is just elastic. And then what I did is the sleeves are shorter. And they're long here, but I always love to pull them up. So I just added the length of the sleeves. And I think I added six inches to the bottom of the sleeve. But that's just so easy to do. And as you can see... I love my new blouse. I put it on with jeans and I feel comfortable to go wherever I want to go. So the goal is happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.